What's going on? Dandy Crew, it's Dandy Drew here, and we are back for another day of Catan. First thing I'm noticing is there's not a lot of not a lot of uh, ore on this board. Also, fun little fact, we are in the fourth position, which for some boards can be good. This will be an interesting one. I think usually high production plus a port works very well for these kind of low ore boards because the strategy is not as clear, right? There's a lot of times when there's a very simple, let's say, or we cheat pick in the early stages of a game. Nah, probably not the case here, right? You're probably gonna have to find what's a way to build either the ideal setup. And also, by the way, not a fan of this. I think you're better off actually going for the 853, which is just kind of a inherent, really good OWS, right? You get obviously the or we and the sheep. Hmm, be interesting to see how they work that. 843 is kind of the same concept, right? You kind of give OWS in a box, 6, 9, 10, really good. Get the roads. 643 as well works nicely. I guess, you know, really you've got to build a strategy around, I would say, the, the wheat here because it's only two good wheat spots. Now, there might be a case, I'm not opposed to it, if we could potentially get something like the three... 10, 9 and point up to the 810. I'm just concerned that the 810 might be a target. Well, now we know the, the truth of the matter. Oof, this is going to be a toughie. Holy cannoli. Well, 6511 and then we take the wood to the wood port might have to be the play here. I think it's the play, guys. I mean, there's also the option potentially to build to the 83. But this idea of saying, hey, I'm going to get everything but the wheat, which we're not getting anyways, unless we play off of this here, which could be an option. Brickport, kind of like a pseudo OWS. It's kind of okay, but I kind of like the wood port, and I think we win that race in most cases. Now, he might be able to take the starting road, which really sucks for us. Is there ever a world where we can go to the sheep port? Nope, because we get plowed with the 492. So the question is, do we take the 8-4 and 6-5-11, which is playable? Also, one of the challenges there is a 9-4-11 point up gets the road settle and we lose that race. It might be playable, though. The problem is, too, you just your hand gets absolutely overloaded with sheep. I think the better play here is the 10-9-5 point right and see if we can get to the wood port. I'm just afraid... Red's going to try to make the play there, which actually kind of hurts us a little bit, but not too bad. Like, I think starting with the brick and sheep, and then, you know, maybe we'll have the four for one for the starting wheat. Might be in the cards here. So let's give it a shot. Let's try it. I, I kind of don't hate this. Also, not crazy about it. And probably, too, if, for instance, blue takes the 8-4 and plays brick port, we can probably trade the ore for wheat here for the starting wheat. And then from there, we just we just run to Woodport, and I think we've got a pretty decent game. Now, I also wonder, too. Yep, yep, we saw this, so there should be a wheat trade. Oh, I don't like that. Red here. I'm assuming you go something like the 436, which gives you all five resources. A pretty good OWS. Um, I don't think we'll play OWS here. I think we're just going to have to play a very strong port game. Now, generally, the rules for ports is... If you're going to make most of your game about dominating a two-for-one port, you usually want at least 60% of your production wrapped up in that particular resource. And I would say in this case, we have about 50-60% of our resources in wood. So, generally, I'm pretty happy about this. Ooh! Ooh, that... I don't know how I feel about that because the 9411 down and to the right might actually be winning here for green. This is pretty good for us, though. I think you... You win this race. I really do. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, we got a game. And hopefully we shouldn't be robbed. The eight's going to be a big target. The four's going to be a target. <sighs> okay, well, we've got a lot of wood. That's for sure. So number one goal here. I think it's going to always be the eight here. It's by far the best block for green. It really just stops all the wheat, which slows down the board immensely. I think the break is not really a good block. It's definitely the eight here, which is great for us. Now, he all probably will be hitting blue here as well. He has a 50% chance to grab the wheat, which gives him a pop. Also, the sheep's not horrible. So we're going to know pretty quickly. If he steals from blue and he buys a dev, then he got the wheat. If he steals from blue and doesn't do anything, 
Wow. So he's got a sheep. So he's got two sheep. Interesting. I think that was a mistake there. I think you got to be tracking a little bit more actively to see what you got to work with there. Man, this wood port's going to cook. Hope you're doing amazing. Hope you're doing well. I've had a fantastic week. Really just in a good mood. Win or lose, I feel like I'm in a good place. And that's, you know, that's where you want to be in life sometimes. Okay, so let's see if we can potentially grab or for wheat here. And I'm looking specifically at blue. Might be a play, might not be, I don't know. That being said, I think we can probably safely drop this here. So it's gonna be interesting. Um, the question is, what are we going to need to do to get a wheat, right? Is the ore good enough? I think if it's six rolls, I might be able to do sheep ore for a wheat, maybe with green, maybe with blue. Also, by the way, if we ever get this back plow to something like the 3911, whew, lights out, super good for us, insanely good for us. I mean, any of these spots or even 311's good, right? Just picking up that, that really solid ore production and really the only thing we're missing there is the wheat, but I think the compensation of the port does us justice. I love it. Oh man, oh man. I think it's red here again. He could try to face off of this port, but I just don't think it's strong enough for him. It's a lot of effort to get to a road settle at this stage in the game and going for the wood port feels more defensive than it feels anything else. Okay, nice 11 ball. I'm not opposed to if we get a few wood rolls. Yeah, nice. So we've got more or less an uncontested port here. Perfect. Now I should be able to, to pawn off some cards here, potentially for a, or for wheat. And I'm really looking at either green or blue. They both possess a wheat here. And I'm willing to do two cards. Not a bad deal for green. I mean, I'm going to snap it if he takes it. Is he pulling my chain? I'm going to do a little tactic here. Whoever, whoever takes. This might push green over the edge. Ooh. I can live with that. It is what it is. I think we just have to get the port. You know, if that means I have to give up three cards and so be it. Um, but it, it obviously means everything to me and not too much for him. And really, we could play devs here. Yeah. I mean, one more 10, nine, five, and we can buy a, a potential dev. It is an expensive trade for me, three for one, but I don't produce wheat. It's not easy for me to come by. And the alternative there is I wait for a four for one, and it's not guaranteed I'm going to get that either. So... Ultimately, I'm pretty happy about this deal. It's pretty good for me. Again, looks expensive, but it, it's because it is. Nice, nice block. Now, we definitely want to put some pressure, I think, on green here. Uh, very likely, we're going to be able to snag a pretty good card from him. Approximately, it was like three wheat, something like that. So I'm going to see if I can do a no steal for him. Honestly, nothing's bad here for me, right? Yeah, let's see if we can snag the wheat. <sighs> Didn't get it at all. Okay, sheep for wood. Might be on the cards here, potentially on this board. That's fine. Uh, if he plays a knight, that's also okay with me. I just can't afford to lose the ore. I'm willing to lose the sheep. I'm willing to lose the wood. The ore is kind of the, the sexy resource. Oh, there we go. There we go. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Now, the question is... What do I do next? A city would be great. Typically a really good plan. Oh, shit. Steal the sheep. Okay. Maybe I need to be a little bit more harsh on green. This is fine, though, right? We we roll a nine, we roll a five. We got a great port here, though. Honestly, it just might be 311, right? Just run over to the 311, make that kind of a big priority. And the thing is, with the 311, I could still potentially build to the nine. 11. So maybe there's a case here where if I can get a few wood and brick rolls, I might just plow road road and nine for 11. It's super nice for us here. Problem is though, because we are the first blood on the board, it does make us a little bit of a target, but you know, I can live with this. I can certainly live with it. I'm pretty sure red and blue probably feel pretty. Oof, devil block. What a block. What a block. Okay, so there's a dev. All right. 
Again, we get a few good rolls here, like a six and, and something else. Nice, nice. That's a dev for sure. Ooh, baby. Baby, baby. A uh, nine of five is double dev. That's super big for us. Um, I think we just take it. I think we clear the ore. We don't deal with any Rob shenanigans. Um, also do sheep for wood here. Might be on the table, especially with as much as the, the 10 has been rolling. Boom, baby. Look at that. You got to read the board, guys. The name of the game. You got to read the board. Ooh. Damn, he got what he wanted. Well, now we're losing our options significantly here. They're going to probably take 4-3. Yeah, Woodport's good. No doubt about it. No doubt about it. I need a road builder. Nice, nice. Oh, wow. Okay. Getting the ore there is pretty big. <sighs> He's going to hit me again. There we go. There we go. Thank you for not being spiteful. I would have was looking for the wheat there. Going to find it. We need some tens and fives here. We unfortunately did miss out on a few different tens. Uh, here, I think, is red. You probably want to hit. Am I getting hit here? I mean, I'm doing well. Yeah, that's perfect. And I, I'm pretty happy about this because I don't really have. That's the thing, right? I don't have. There we go. There we go. I don't really have any wheat here. So is there any world where I can do something like like this, like this potentially? Uh, otherwise, what I could do is I could port for a wheat, which I'm not opposed to as well. I can also drop a road. Puts me at five cards and I'll in range to potentially settle, but I kind of like the idea of porting for the wheat here. I'm gonna need to do that anyways. I just think with this much ore, I can also buy a dev, but I think with this so much ore, we want to try to get a city. So we're going to play with risk here. We're either rolling wood or brick at this point with the five being blocked. Perfect. We have a perfect city in our hand. It's risky if we seven. It's going to really, really suck. We also have the settle in our hand, but I think here just the city is just a monster play. So hopefully we survive. If we don't, we're probably going to have to trash a pretty good hand here. Okay, good, 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 good. I'm going to look here for, with red, maybe brick for wheat. Sheep for brick, sheep for wheat here. He does have an extra wheat in his hand, but I guess he's trying to settle. The perfect settle. Yeah, perfect settle. Um, Is there any shot that here I can get an ore for wood? I'll definitely take this. This is the back plow. Otherwise, what we do is we just port for the, the city, which I think is winning for us for sure either way. Either we get the six, yeah, I mean, it's a great spot. Yeah, let's just get the city. I mean, it's not every day that we get to walk around and talk about having a city, especially on a port like that. And then from there, we can kind of really designate what we want to do. I mean, two two wood rolls, and then we get the road settle where we can pop. Um, the pop also wasn't bad, but ideally, I would absolutely, yeah, look at this, man. We're going to cook. We're going to absolutely cook here. Few rolls, too. Um, you know, double wood roll, I think. Ooh, this is not bad. Let's see if we can get something like this. I think he has an extra ore in his hand, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, that's beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, I mean, I think we're losing the spot anyway, so it didn't really matter in this big scheme of things. Oh my god. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Now we cook. One more wood roll, and we're just really asking for trouble here. Uh, maybe brick for wheat here. Also wood for wheat. Not, not probably not with blue though. Now the question is, do I just take the six twelve? I think I do. I think that's probably the play because the the reality is the three for one's always there for us. But I think getting access. Oh my goodness! So I get three roads here. One, two, three. I'll have four wood left over. So let's go. Let's go double the six here. So one, two, I'll have four. Hmm. We can also drop a bunch of roads, but I, I think this is not bad in theory. We're just getting production cooking here. And then let's give this to blue. Uh, or red potentially might take this, and then we'll clear our hand with a pop. Not bad at all by any means. Also, the alternative here is we drop one road, which puts uh, essentially a card and an ore in our hand. 
problem is we two rolls and we're over, right? And a 10 we're over. So I think better that we just drop the kind of the road here and kind of wait for th rolls to come in. Six is cooking here. Fives are cooking here. I just also, what I like about the 612 for us guys is that it kind of cuts the road network for blue. Blue ever tries to get the 612 themselves and then kind of go for the connect. It becomes a serious problem. Here, I'm assuming they're going to block the six, which is an incredibly ineffective block because we just have a lot in our setup here to work with with all the wood. By the way, everybody knows this at this point, but wood port is the best port. Hmm. Of course, brother. Brother, brother, brother. Fives, sixes. Of course he seals the ore. Been one of those days, you know? Alternatively, I think we could have popped. I think the pop is good for us here on the basis that, well, no one's bought devs. So maybe that was a little bit of hindsight. I got greedy. I wanted to settle. I think fast points is really good for us. And we always have the 612 as well, which after we get the 612, we have triple wood, double brick. We're going to move very fast. I mean, road, road, settle. That's six. Man, we need some, we need some good rolls here, guys. Fives are just killer. Tens are super killer. Monos would be just nuts here. I think if we get a six, we road, road to the 912, really preserve that spot. I'm just looking for decently fast points and we're so close to that 9311 plow i mean that i think would have really cleaned our game up nicely yeah i can't believe you stole the ore i'm hoping honestly that a lot of these guys focus and double down on development cards and just let me build and just be like a road monster a few fives really just give us what we need and every time a six rolls we drop roads so life is good you know unfortunately we don't have a very communicative table uh no one's responding no one's typing Ugh, man, sometimes that's the way it goes. But ultimately, I think we're in a good position here. And I'm assuming he's going to either pop or save for a city. There we go. There we go. Yeah, the five wood's a silly block. I mean, I think better to at least hit the sheep because it is a rare resource. Solo blocking me. Yeah, you don't solo block me here for sure. Nice. Look at that, man. They don't want the wood. I love it. Nice defense. Nice. I think here we're going to go Jack. I think blue might be the answer here. After, I mean, if we can get anything but a wood here. Yeah, it's just a perfect pop. Let's go get it. Nice, baby. Woo. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. What I'm talking about. That's the perfect situation for us because now the game becomes much simpler. We're going to road, road, settle, set, uh, seven, eight, take road, game. There we go, road, road, nine, twelve. Can't can't stop it. Won't stop it. Question is, do we do we take the risk, right? Because potentially blue might also try to. I'm gonna take two cards here. I'll take almost any two here, honestly. Yeah, that's fine. No night. Ooh. Wow. Unbelievable. So let's run over here. I think picking up a 3-1 helps us churn our brick. And ultimately, we're going to be taking road over here on the left side of the board. So let's get some fives in the house. A few fives, a 10. We're looking pretty. Ooh, four is not a good I think we really have to get the settle here. And once we settle, it's more or less game. We can turn our brick. We can take road. And I, I don't see who stops us, right? Like maybe green can connect, but our, our ability to drop roads is just after, especially after the 912, I, I don't see how he stops us. Now, what could be a concern here is if green has a road builder, he could go for the plow. But uh, I'm playing with fire. He, he clearly didn't have a knight because he would have played it. So I need blue to seven out here. I need some fives. I need like a five ten, five six. I just want to get the three one. And it's more or less I I would I would say if we can get the three one in this orbit, then we win the game most likely next orbit. So if we get the three one this orbit, I'd say there's two orbits max. So if we get like a five and a ten here, not too much on the fives. Um, it's kind of hard to stop me here. I think you have to hit the five. It's it's that versatile roll. I think they're going to make make a mistake, potentially hit the nine. Yeah, I mean, this is, yeah, this is a mistake. Woo! 
Come on, five. Ooh, nice too. So five is close, but it's not quite there. We're so far ahead. Getting greedy, man. Ready to getting greedy. That settle's not as good as, uh... I mean, me winning the game is a lot worse than, uh... <laughs> You know, it's trying to steal a card there. I don't, I just don't think they realize how close the game is here. Um, all right, six, five, ten, six. Everything's actionable, right? Which is what we want. A uh, worst case here is if we don't have a play, what we'll do is we could also take road. I'm not opposed to that. And I might even consider doing it because we got to do it anyways, right? The alternative is we, we pick up a, a wheat. But honestly, I think the play here is we just drop a road and we kind of pray that, uh, Nothing bad's gonna happen. I mean, look, we're already the target. So it's like, why not? All right, let's drop a road here. The idea is that we just got a couple different roles that kind of help us out. Yeah, perfect, right? Worst case here, like I said, if blue has a road builder, but I'm putting them potentially on like two VPs and a knight or maybe VP or VP Yop. I'm assuming though, they would have probably bought a city. Oh, we gotta survive here, guys. Do we have winning rolls? 10, you know, maybe like back-to-back 10s -back would definitely be in the money for us. And then here you just put it on the 10. Oh my goodness, brick mono is disgusting. Oh, please don't mono the brick. Please don't mono the brick. Please don't mono the brick. 10 might be winning. Um, smart move. Oh, unbelievable. He steals the one. There we go. There we go. This is hella close. I don't think it's it, though. Is it game? Oh, my God. <laughs> it's game. Wow. You know, sometimes that's the way the cookie crumbles, you know? The way the cookie goes. GG. Wild stuff. I mean, just, like, clinical in terms of just execution there. Uh, there's not really much to be said. Uh, clearly, we rolled decently, um, just solid overall. And we had a good game plan, 6 5, 11, 9, 5, 10. And look, this is one of those situations you can go without wheat and it's perfectly okay as long as you understand how your position works and what is, no, it's not a throw. I mean, I was in such a good position there. It, it is what it is. Um, yeah, I mean, knowing that this much wood really hits the two-for-one port really nicely, it's hard to block me. I, I think you've got to look at some of these blocks, like the five is any anything that gives me a specific resource that's not wood, you usually want to stop that, right? Because the alternative is that even though I have a little, lot of wood, you'd rather me porting for a resource than straight up producing it. But the 10 is a monster roll, right? A few 10s and I'm just really crushing. Yeah, literally the perfect hand, the perfect situation, and uh, the perfect pull straight into the VP. So that's the way it goes sometimes, guys. Welcome to Catan. What else is there to say? I think the 8510 is good. Like I said, I just think on this board, you've got to take advantage of these rare rolls, like the three or just being a really good roll. And I think it rolled decently. Um, sorry, no, the 11 rolled pretty well early on. A three, not so much, but I ended that game pretty quickly, sub 30. So I think I would go something like eighth, five, three in first, potentially. I do like the six, nine, 10. I think this brick has some play, especially in the eight, four. Where this board went wrong is I think they needed to stack devs a little bit early. I don't know, maybe they just didn't get their position up, maybe build some cities. Definitely when you focus on a two for one situation, similar to me or blue, blue needs to get a city. You need a six. 9 10 city as soon as possible because you need these brick rolls being impactful if you have to wait for multiple rolls and then to port for the resource you need it's very inefficient in that sense so that was why one of the things i prioritized is when i had the three or i either went for the 9 3 11 which is a big production boost and also a road play or i dropped the city cool all right well there you go hope you enjoyed it i appreciate all the support you coming out just being your best self. You know, this is why we're here. We're having a great time. I don't see why the train's going to stop, frankly. If you haven't subscribed, you know what to do. Share the love. Hit the like button. You stay great. I'm out of here. Peace.